regarding GTEC, this is like, you know, really, I mean, I, I got it handed to them. They did, you know, like the algos did amazing job on Friday, uh, which should trap like both sides. Uh, and <clears throat> this is one of the stock, like, uh, when you have FOMO and when you didn't have a plan, it's going to kill you. Right. Uh, but for those that who are, uh, patient enough, uh, to wait for the key levels, you know, like long or short, you're going to profit from it. Right. But it's not easy. Okay. Easier said than done, <clears throat> but it's not that easy. Myself, uh, I took some of the long tray. Uh, I made some money short side, made some money as well. Uh, but I took a loss, uh, near like 3.30 PM was right here. Uh, on, uh, this kind of dip. I mean, I mean, the thesis was there, but it's just like maybe time, my timing was off a little bit. Uh, but you know, there's a uh, really absolutely nothing. I regret about that trade. Uh, I would have, you know, taken that trade any day. Uh, if you know, it happens again, I'm, I'm going to take it. Okay. It's just, uh, maybe my timing was off a little bit or like, you know, maybe I was impatient. I should have weighed a little bit lower to have a better average or like, you know, those I have better, uh, stop, right? Basically. Uh, but, uh, you know, it is, uh, it is, uh, what it is. Uh, I try to, uh, you know, got you guys, uh, throughout the day on Friday as much as I could, uh, you know, but you know, whatever. Right. So I took a here along like 9.6. Uh, my stop was like at nine. And if you just look at what the stock did and, you know, kind of drop right away and stop me out right here. And then it went down to like this key level, 8.5, as you can see here, uh, resistance becomes support right support you know like maybe this this line 8.7 supporting that whole day 8.5 dip 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 here like this is really key level as uh, 8.5 if i was patient a little bit you know taking that tray into here uh 850s or 860 stopping i mean exactly the same thesis but not like 9.6 and stop at 9 but instead of 8.6 you know 8 but easier on a, a you know in hindsight right uh but the thesis was right <laughs> after that stock you know uh pop back into this uh 10 line and you know uh, you know went high after hours but uh you know there's a it's it's really hard to kind of capture after I was move, uh, but my goal on this one was like, you know, 9.5 and so into this push 10.5, but we didn't get there. So, uh, so regarding this ticker, um, I would like to kind of go over the topic I want to get, you know, go over today is how to kind of recognize, uh, or like to know, you know, if the stock is trapping and so you can take advantage of it, right? Uh, and usually if the style is going to trap for, you know, for the rest of the day, it usually is showing signs really early in the morning, right? And also the volumes should tell the story easy to borrow. Uh, but you know, in this case it has, uh, it had like all the red flags that we need. And also if you, uh, I'm just gonna do it like this. Like in the morning, right? It went straight to like, you know, 8.9, uh, doing this, you know, grinding and trying to push over 8.5 when it couldn't, you know, stuff, uh, not, not like, you know, like, uh, it, it went below view app. Everyone is thinking that, okay, this is pretty much like, you know, done, right? All it, it's over pretty much. Uh, I was watching this one and i thought to myself okay so this could be it okay uh put out nine whole and half little mark perfect right push into 8.5 couldn't break this line it went below view app that's probably that's it right but then uh stock like you know trap bunch of people here 
and then slowly grinding on the way up and then on this eight line it pops straight through that pre-market high to me after this point like i said to myself okay so stock should have died but it didn't right it should have not done that this is the type of the move where i recognize and i said to myself okay so this is the trap okay and the moment like g tech or like stock did that i know it was a trouble okay i know this stock is something you don't want to mess with right and this is typically the sign that you need to look for uh you know maybe earlier in the morning maybe in the pre-market but this is like the stock is telling you the story right or how it's going to behave for the rest of the day and to me this is like the clear sign i mean you know it went below view app 8 to 7.5 and then it just rips through the pre-market high right i mean this is not normal guys okay usually it should test back a little bit view app and then lower lower here and then you know that's it so after that when i noticed something like this i know this was the trappy stock and that is really i mean i would say the easiest way how to trade this is not to trade it right the easiest way is to avoid but for some reason you want to trade this one you want to take advantage of that totally fine but just keep in mind on this type of stock they try to you know mess with longs and short both sides okay it doesn't have any any clear indication or like clear confirmations that it's going to one direction but instead it's playing with the range okay what i mean by that is uh let's say you know pop into this one and went to 10 line right and as you can see here you know big stuff view app nine and then eight right i mean it should have gone lower seven six but we claim all the way back to like you know almost like 11. how often you see that i mean it gave you the information here gave you the warnings here you didn't listen to it you went back to the well you're gonna get you know squeeze all right if you chase here you're gonna get dumb both sides okay so on this type of stock, the only way for you to be able to take advantage of that, either long or short, is scalping the range. Okay, you could, I don't know, uh, I give a put a drawing here. I would say the range was between ten and eight. Okay, if you narrow it down a little bit, maybe ten and eight point five. This is the range that the stock is, you know, basically giving you the guidance uh, or like the guide for the rest of the day, right? Like in the pre-market, it should have died in. At the open, it should have died in. So after 1030, that's your range, okay? So if you want to scalp the channel, that I think that would be the only way how to profit from it. But it requires a lot of patience 